We're at Chester Mine in Massachusetts, in Chester, Massachusetts, um, documenting white nose syndrome in um, a number of mines in this area. We first heard about it by getting phone calls from the neighbors down the road who were reporting bats dying in their yards and hanging on their, their houses and landing in their trees in, um, that would have been early February, which is unusual for bats to be out and about in early February, and also um, that they were out and about in the middle of the day. So on bright sunny days at below freezing temperatures, bats are supposed to be hibernating and not flying around. So I was contacted by um, two women and coordinated with the state to come out here on the first visit and confirm that we had white nose syndrome here in um, the Chester Mines. There are about eight to 9,000 bats here. Um, there's a potential of perhaps 90% mortality within the next two years of these bats and judging by the number of bats we are seeing flying right now as well as picking them up in the backyards of folks and seeing them on the houses, I think we're going to have high mortality this year. I'm holding a little brown right now who uh, is extremely dehydrated as you can tell by the wings that are not nice and loose and smooth and these are wrinkled. In fact, you can barely extend this wing. Um, underweight. Maybe there's white nose, which is a fungus, which is why we call it white nose. Uh, it was first observed last year in New York. And Al Hicks from New York DEC dubbed the syndrome white nose syndrome because the fungus was focused on the nose, basically, or on hairless parts of the body, nose, ears, wings. We're hoping to pick up fresh dead bats in the mine to send them for analysis to the National Wildlife Health Center in Madison, Wisconsin, who's uh, coordinating the uh, bat mortality or the investigations for Massachusetts and Vermont. Cornell University is taking all the New York bats. Um, so we went in there to find evidence of mortality, any fresh dead bats. And we didn't find any, but we found plenty of bats that looked underweight, and we found plenty of bats with the fungus, the white nose syndrome. Um, we are looking into the cause of an unknown agent, or we don't know what it is, um, with the help of a number of laboratories from all over the U.S., we have no clue what it is, and right now, it doesn't look like we're going to find out anytime soon, I don't think. Um, it's been confirmed in Massachusetts, central Massachusetts, western Massachusetts, in the Berkshires, in New York, uh, about 15 locations in New York, and then in southwestern Vermont in the Manchester area in two of the state's largest hibernacula. The Indiana bat of federally endangered species um, is one of the species that has white nose syndrome and is um, expected to be lost in great numbers. Uh, also the little brown as this one is, the northern long ear and the small footed bat and the eastern pipistrelle are all bat species that have been found either dead or with the white nose syndrome. You know, this fungus growing on it. When we first arrived here, and if you might even catch them in, in the camera, maybe one will zoom in front, because it did earlier. We're seeing bats flying all over, all over the area here. It's what, uh, 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, quarter past 1, 40 some degrees and they're out and flying and we we got here at 10:30 and they were flying so that's um that's a sign that there's a trouble and it's march march 6 as a matter of fact they normally don't emerge from hibernation until uh small footed bats will emerge maybe the end of march or early april little browns in indiana start emerging mid april so this is well in advance of when they should be leaving and i was here 3 weeks ago and there were just as many bats flying Basically, these are healthy bats that are starving. It's not like they're showing signs of a disease or a sickness yet. We don't have any evidence of that. All we have are very nice, healthy bats that are very underweight for this time of year, that are leaving their hibernacula to forage, if there's anything out there, um, or drink. This, I observed one trying to drink water, trying to warm up, trying to, to conserve energy. and. Basically, they're just starving to death and dying. That's all we know at this point.